Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be checking out this Unreal Engine 5.1 Redwoods Forest survival game demo that I've created to showcase some of the new features in Unreal Engine 5.1 and absolutely push my hardware to its limits. So this is running on my RTX 4090 and i9-3900K. I'm running this in 4K and also this is in the editor, so it's not a standalone game. Now let's take a look at the stunning Redwoods Forest that has been created using Unreal Engine 5.1 and as we walk through the forest you can just see how much detail has been captured and all the trees and foliage thanks to Nanite and you'll also notice the realistic lighting and shadows which are possible thanks to Lumen. Now I mean you could just see the insane level of detail even all the pine needles on the ground I think really is what captures the level of detail that just makes everything look super realistic. I mean, you can look at all the shading on the pine needles on the ground, and you can look at that puddle with all the reflections in it. So I made sort of this wooden foundation with some walls to kind of give you an idea of what a survival game would look like if you were to make it inside of Unreal Engine 5.1 using all of the available features such as Lumen and Nanite to get as much detail as possible in your 3D models as well as with the lighting. Now I gave this guy a little hatchet in his hand. If you guys want to learn how to make a survival game that's inspired by Ark or Rust, I actually have a Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course that you guys can watch and learn how to create a survival game much like the one that you're seeing here. And in fact, I'm using the same animations that are included in the course on this character. And everything that you see here in the scene, this axe is actually a free nanite mesh that I got from Quixel Bridge. So technically everything that you see, well minus the forest, you can actually recreate by following my multiplayer survival game course. I show you how to harvest various different resources like pick bushes for berries, chop down trees for wood. You can take all those resources and in your inventory craft those into different structures that you can place down and you can build your own base. It's completely multiplayer replicated so that means that you can host a server and have your friends join your game. I even show you how to integrate Steve into the survival game. We add things like AI and create a open world map. So if you guys are interested in the multiplayer survival game course, check out the link in the description below. Currently the course is on a big early access discount. That means that the course is in the process of being completed. But if you purchase the course today, you will get it with that big early access discount and you'll get access to all future lectures that will be added later on as the course is completed. And the price of the course will be increased later on but if you purchase it today, you don't have to worry about paying a lot more. But yeah, anyways, check out the course link in the description below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, back to the video. So yeah, as you can see, I can walk up to this little hut that I made. And yeah, each plank of wood is a nanite mesh. So there's thousands upon thousands of triangles. And I can get really close and you can see the insane level of detail here on the wood. And I mean, right now I'm getting about 40 to 50 frames a second depending I guess where I'm looking at but like I said this is played in the editor so obviously I would get a lot more better performance if I were to package this game and play it in standalone rather than through the Unreal Engine editor but it's just absolutely mind-blowing to see this style of graphics just to see my hardware being pushed to the limits and having a real hard time trying to run this at higher than 40 frames a second in 4K. But yeah, check this out. So I place another little wooden hut here in the forest and just seeing the contrast of colors of this bright wooden structure in the middle of the forest. Kind of inspired by a survival game like maybe Ark or Rust or something like that. And I wonder what Ark 2 would look like, if it's gonna look similar to this in terms of graphical capability or how well detailed are the environments going to look. But yeah, as you can see, I can walk around the little structure here. I can even hop inside and kind of show you guys up close just the detail on the wood again. But my favorite thing is just how clean the lighting looks and there are definitely a bunch of big improvements in Unreal Engine 5.1 that have been made to the Lumen lighting system. And you can even see this in games like Fortnite where they're taking advantage of those new features in Unreal Engine 5.1. I mean, just the lighting in that game looks incredible and it's all dynamic. So now we can just kind of walk through the rest of the forest here. I kind of want to just showcase how incredibly detailed this looks, especially in the first person. And yeah, as you can see, I've also added like this first person character where he's just holding an axe 
and we can just kind of look around and take in all the beautiful graphics that Unreal Engine 5.1 has to offer. So yeah, all of these trees and foliage that you see, pretty much everything that you see here on the scene, including the landscape, I enabled Nanite 4. So the crazy thing about it is with Nanite, you're not gonna see any sort of pop in and out of LODs. And what I mean by that is you can look anywhere on the screen at any of the trees, especially far off in the distance. And as I move closer and closer, you're not going to see any sort of pop in and out that you normally see in, in any other game right now. Since Unreal Engine 5.1 introduces nanite foliage, what this means is, you know, your trees, your bushes, all that stuff is going to take advantage of nanite foliage and not have to use an LOD where you can easily see the transition between a simplified mesh and a high detailed mesh, aka known as, you know, the pop in that you see when you walk close to different trees or foliage in games. I honestly think that we're going to see a lot more games look as graphically good as what you see here in this video. Well, for one, obviously a lot of studios are actually picking up Unreal Engine 5 and using it for their next gen games and titles. I mean, it's an absolute no brainer to use Unreal Engine 5 for making AAA games, especially if you are going for the highest level of graphical detail. I mean, with features like Nanite and Lumen, you really can't make a game as detailed as this without those two features. And it's kind of incredible to think that Unreal Engine 5 is completely free to use. There's no subscription that you have to pay to use it. You can use all the tools and resources, the same tools and resources that professionals in the industry use to create films, movies, games, and it's all there free for you to use. Anyways, I think I'm going to wrap up the video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. What scene should I make or what should I test out to really push my hardware to its limits and try and stress test Unreal Engine 5.1 to see how detailed can we get in any given scene. Maybe what I'll have to try and make next is to try to set up this scene with VR. If you guys seen my other videos, I actually tested out Nanite and Lumen inside of VR since in Unreal Engine 5.1, they added support for it. The only current issue is that there is a flickering with the shadows. So I'll need to go ahead and figure out what the solution is to fix that. But, but yeah, maybe VR is what I'll have to try next with this scene. Let me know what you guys might recommend. Currently, there's actually an Unreal Engine marketplace sales so I might check out some of the different maps I can get on the marketplace and try testing those out as well but but yeah that is pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed check out my multiplayer survival game course link will be in the description below and yeah that's pretty much it I'll see you guys in the next one